The Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth. Behold her, single in the field, yon solitary highland lass, reaping and singing by herself. Stop here or gently pass. Get out of here! Alone she cuts and binds the grain, and sings a melancholy strain. A listen, for the veil profound is overflowing with the sound. No night in jail did ever chant more welcome notes to weary bands of travellers in some shady hount among Robin's songs. A voice so thrilling near, near was heard in springtime from the cuckoo bird, breaking the silence of the seas among the farthest Hebrides. Will no one tell me what she sings? Perhaps the plaintive numbers flow for old, unhappy, far-off things in battles long ago. Or is it some more humble lay, familiar matter of today, some natural sorrow, loss, or pain that has been and may be again? What ear the theme the maiden sang, as if her song could have no ending? I saw her singing at her work, and o oh, ear the sickle bending, I listened motionless and still, and as I mounted up the hill, the music in my heart I bore, long after it was heard no more. I'm Mark Strauss, and you're watching Poetry Time. Shut up! This week on Poetry Time, we'll be discussing The Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth and whether or not it displays romantic influence. Some background facts about the poem. Studies show that the reaper was either using hedge trimmers or a hatchet to do her work. These both smell like garbage. <laughs> Let's get to it. Our first caller is Jay Briggs from California. Hey Jay, welcome to the show. How's it going? Well, Mike, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Glad to hear it. What do you have to say about the poem? Well, this, this poem is greatly subjective, uh, especially the song aspect of it, considering that he doesn't actually understand what she's saying, and yet he manages to find beauty in it, regardless of what the actual meaning and the, the words of the song are. It's a uh, it's his subjective interpretation that makes this such a such a great example of romantic subjectivity. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. On to the next caller. Hey Debbie, let's hear your take on the poem. Well, I was struck by how nature oriented it all was. I mean, the, the stopping in nature, uh, the looking around oneself, taking in, c becoming one with nature. That's very romantic. Once and again, I, seems I, like I, no one knows what romantic actually means. Well, excuse Bye, me. Bye, Debbie. Hey, George. Glad to have you on the show. What do you have to say? Well, uh, the, the last line there really does away with any uncertainties we might have had about whether or not this is a romantically influenced poem. That portrayal of finitude is unmistakably romantic, uh, especially for words. That's the I've ever heard. Bye, George. Just look it up. Examples of romantic poetry. Uh, Jay, what do you think about this? They just have no idea what they're talking about. What else could that word possibly mean? On to the next caller. So I think that ultimately the subjectivity of the interpretation of the song as well as the worship of nature and a loyalty to finitude really are enough to conclusively characterize this as a romantic poem. Is that guitar? That's what you sound like. That's what I'm, you sound like. I'm sorry, I... I, I, That's what I you Everybody keeps saying the word romantic, the romantic. Everybody keeps on saying this word. It's like romantic. It's some thin skin. I can't even say it. 
It's that dumb. It doesn't sound, it, there's no such thing as that. You have romance, romantic. Have you ever heard of a romantic in the movie? No, because it sounds stupid. There's no such thing. Sometimes I just want my mom. No one knows what it means, the words they're saying, and everyone's idiots. That's the problem with today. Today's culture is all that they're, none of them know the words that they're, they're trying to say. None of it makes any sense. Everybody thinks this is a poetry and it's not, it's not a po. I won't even, I can't imagine how stupid you would have to be to think that this is a poetry. People should know what poetry means, they should know what romantic means, they should just be more smarter. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I've been having a, a hard time recently. Romanticism. <laughs>